G'day everyone, B Agent Dad here. We're gonna do the unboxing and first impression of this Dell C3422WE 34-inch curved screen video conferencing monitor. Now this is part of Dell's new 2021 collaboration series monitor. Traditionally, they are 40 inch plus, but this year they brought out a 24 inch, a 27 inch, and a 34 inch. Now I've already unboxed a 24 inch and a 27 inch monitor. Now if you want to check those video out, I'll put in the link in the description below so you can actually check those out. Now we're up to the 34 inch monitor. And as you can see, it's quite a whopper. I don't think there's actually much space in my frame to actually put me in, but we're gonna do the unboxing now. Now, I will be creating a follow-up video of this monitor once I spent a bit of time with it, but this video will just be the unboxing and just a quick first impression and some of the difference of this monitor compared to the 27 and the 24 inch monitor. Anyway, without further ado, let's get on with the unboxing. As always, I always have my trusty knife to do the unboxing, so let's bring it out. Now, let's kind of oh, give us a bit of a turn. I'm gonna do it from this side here because just give it a nice whack, there we go. Oh, it's quite large, isn't it? As you can see, it's quite large. Now I do own a 34 inch monitor myself. It's kind of just sitting over there. Uh, but this here being a C class version, it actually has a webcam and speakers built in. So it's pretty sweet. Now the normal 34 inch does come with speakers, but they never really has a webcam on it. And also this also has a hub built into it as well. Now what I was also reading is it's gonna have a KVM um, sort of virtual switch there so you can actually hook up two computers to it as well. So anyway, before we get into that, I'll have to get into that a little bit later. Now let's see what we've got. So we've got some instructions. I think I might be able to pretty much unbox this without the instructions there <laughs> and assemble it anyway. So I know I'll just show you what we got. So we've got the USB cable. We will need this a little bit later on. So this one is a USB to USB-C cable and that is about 1.8 meters in length, which is great length because normally with docking stations, they're quite small, about 30 to about 45 inch. Uh, sorry, 45 centimeters, uh, but this one's really nice and long. So 1.8 is fantastic. You can have the actual computer alongside somewhere else, uh, but this is a nice, good standard size for normal display cable or HDMI cable that comes with monitors. So it's nice to see that the USB-C is a 1.8 meters. So I like that as well. So now I'm gonna pop that through. And then we've got a normal display port to display port that's full size. So that's so you can actually connect this up to another monitor or connect the, using this monitor, connecting it to another computer, uh, which for your normal instead of using the USB-C. Yeah. So if you do use the USB-C, it does support 90 watts of power delivery to the laptop or the device. So that's if you know, but this of course can't do power delivery just to let you guys know that. And I'll put this one aside. And then we've got the USB type A uh, upstream cable there. And then we've got the power cable, of course, here, which is fantastic. And okay, now let's go up to the base first. So the base is just sitting here now. Let's try and this kind of more documentation. We don't need that. All right, let's, oh, let's bring that to the base. This base, oh, now that has a lot of weight there. Now this has definitely got a bit of weight. Now I'm not surprised it's got a bit of weight because it's got to counteract the weight of this monitor. Now I'm taking as this is close to maybe about five kilos or maybe more or four kilos, I'm not sure, but that's got a bit of weight to it for sure. So I'm just gonna pop it down here. Uh, I'll probably have to move it in a moment. Uh, and also while I'm at it, it is, actually there's curve on both sides now. Uh, trapezoidal shape, I think it is. Put a comment below, what do you think this shape is? I'd love to know. I'm trying to teach my, my daughter different shapes, so I'd definitely love to know what shape you think this base is. Oh, so we're at, at the back of the bottom of it is of course your screw, and you can do it tight with your fingers, which is great. So oh, you'll see me do that when I put the stand part of it. All right, so this is actually also interesting enough. You've also got a numbering system to tell which way it is which. So you've got one, uh, and then you've got number two, which means this is the next part you're gonna do. So as I said, you don't really want me the instructions for this. But it's pretty standard to do. Okay, let's bring this thing out. All right, oh, we don't need all this garbage here. And okay, now we're gonna plug this in. Again, 
quite a nice slim stand here and then we've got a hole here for cable management as well too and of course we've got the two prongs so it can fit so I'll just show you how again how I normally do unbox and assemble the monitors so I'll just go screw this in quickly for you now which is great to see and there we go nice and well okay let's go out the rest of this box out so this will take a little bit of time all right just move that across down here oh I don't want to throw because I'll make a big loud noise there now here we go I'm just gonna pop this thing down all right here we go now you'll find one of these monsters I actually got a nice little split in the middle just to show you how to assemble monitors now it's nice to see they're actually now showing you how to assemble correctly without having to damage the panel so oh i'm going to attach to this now while i'm going to do this i'm going to tell you what ports there is on this monitor here so we've got the power port we also have a hdmi port full size and then we've got a display port in and then we've got the usb c port and then we've got a USB Type B upstream port, and then we've got two USB 3.2 Gen 1 ports, and they're there, Type A ports, and then we've got the Ethernet RJ45 cable there as well, too, which is good. Now, while I'm at it, I'm just also going to show you right here is I can see from the mount here, it is Visa mount compatible, so you can see the four screws that you need if you want to install this on a monitor arm or a monitor mount, as I've said. Let's just kind of show you how I actually, so again, leave the panel on the big part in the box and grab your stand and then align those two prongs with some holes here. Now, I, fortunately, I'm just gonna show this right here now and then, okay, now I've got that connected. Now I'm gonna try and do this sideways and bring this up. So, oh, it's got a bit of weight to this thing here. So there we go. Now I'm just, there's nothing else in the box. I'm just gonna drop the box down over here. It's a big box, I can definitely tell that. And then we'll just bring this out here. There we go, we'll throw that away. Now, I'm just gonna try and grab this stuff here. Now this is where the webcam is. So as you see, while you actually do this way, therefore you're not touching the panel and putting marks and stuff like that as well too, but not really trying to actually give this sort of damaging the panel by actually putting pressure on it. So that's why we kind of put the stand up in and then you can lift it up through the stand there so you're not touching the panel itself, which is kind of best way to do it. And I'm just gonna try and bring this across and bring it. So again, at the top here, we've got the webcam. Now that is a 10, 80p webcam, great to see that Dell are putting 1080p webcam and not putting 720p webcam. So they can do 720p, but at least it's a 1080p webcam. Great news there for a lot of us, anyway, especially when doing content creation as well too. Not So not only just for your video conferencing, you can use to do this for a lot of content creation, which we are doing more these days and doing more remote uh, as well too. Uh, so it's kind of nice. And of course, the, it's got built in, uh, the microphone is built in as well. Now, I'm just also gonna show you down right here is we've got a very long speaker bar, of course. Now they are two five watt speakers. So this isn't too much different to the 24 and the 27 inch version of this as well. And I think that's pretty much all the same speakers across for those ones here, but it is a nice elongated one here and right. So again, down at the bottom here, we've got some buttons here for your teams and video conferencing so we've got the team button we've got the core i think it's more of indicator light than actually do anything here and then we've got the volume button now we'll connect this computer up uh, to a computer this monitor to a computer and we'll actually show you that as well too and then we've got the mic mute button as well too so there now i'm going to have a quick feel of there where there it is so is there anything else? No, it's just at the bottom. So again, I'm gonna quickly show you the range of movement for this. So sorry, I'm gonna blind the light on you here. So we've got tilt, which is great, up and down. It's got a bit of tilt and we've got swivel as well. Now, the good thing about swivel is it's actually done by down here, the swivel. So the actual base is not moving. So you can see the base is not moving. So that's kind of nice. And it does have rotation. Now, I don't know if it's a great idea for the rotation, though the rotation only has that much in rotation wise so it's not really much it's more for the tilt and i don't expect this thing to be in portrait mode at all it's quite large here so anyway that's just let you know now at the bottom here there is some 
ports at the bottom here. So I'm just gonna quickly go through them here. So we've got a USB-C port, and we've got a headphone jack, and then we've got the USB 3.2 Gen 1 Type A port as well. So that's just located at the bottom, and it's great to see it's actually located at the bottom and not on the side, because it makes it easier to actually access. And not only is it easy to access, if you've got a dual screen or a triple screen setup, uh, if you put it on the side, they will actually get blocked by a numbers display anyway. So it's good to see they've actually thought about this and put the USB and actually all these extra ports on the bottom so they're easy to access. Not only easy to access, but at least they're not being blocked if you have another uh, screen set up here, which is great to see. And let's try and just tell you that also on the back here, oh, around the back here, we also have the power button and then we also got the OSD joystick here for, for you to actually control the OSD. Now you can also ch change that OSD or do the controls through the display. Dell applica display application, which I will show you in a little bit later as well too. So I'm just gonna find a nice little spot here. And I'm gonna connect this, I'm gonna have this facing towards me just so it makes it easy for me to control this in a way, so. Okay, so I'm gonna go by USB, USB-C. So I'll just plug this into my USB port or Thunderbolt port on this computer here. I'm gonna quickly turn it on and we'll just kind of do that, so. Now I'm just going to better turn the monitor on. That's a good idea. It does help the hair if you turn the monitor on. So we're going to boot it up. And as it is a curved screen, but it's not crazy curve. Now I also have another 34 inch, uh, which is the U3419 uh, W. And that one there, I think the cache will curve. I'm just having a quick look from that one there to this one here. I think they're about the same. I think maybe the U series is I got a little bit more curve than the C series here, but it is got a little curve there. Uh, well, I'll show you that in the review video there anyway. So, all right, so let's see how we, I was asking what kind of English, or I better do that set up here. So English, and uh, we want to have this on always charging, yes and no. So let's go yes for that. So I'm gonna go up one. So, so I'm just doing this backwards here, so. This will get there. There we go. We've got some life in this thing now. So uh, it's doing mirror. So let me try and get this thing out into extended mode. Oops. Let's do extended mode here. All right. Now again, I am getting Ethernet. I can see we've got network, and we can also see that we have got power delivery as well too. So it is charging that this computer laptop here in a way. So I am um, going to actually just help you out with this thing here and we're going to just show you that I am in extended mode here which is great. Sorry the volume buttons is touch sensitive so you don't need to put much pressure on this to actually control the volume up and down and again mute. So I'm just going to bring up Teams so let's bring this so I'm just going to do that and I'm going to press the Teams button Oh, it's come up on my screen here, so I'm just going to move it across here. So I did bring up Teams on that now as well too. So let's bring that up. I'm going to bring, pop up the webcam. All right. And what I'm going to do, I'm going to do something a little bit different because I've done this for 24 and the 27 inch. I've actually done the Teams call on that one there. I'm actually going to do something different for this one here, for that one there. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to bring in the 24 inch version of this. So. Here we go, oh, 24 inch. Now, uh, we're gonna do the USB version of this, so USB-C, so I'm gonna connect another USB-C to the laptop. You probably won't be normally doing this, but in case you do, <laughs> you've tried this out. So I'm gonna turn this one off and just turn, oh, I had it on already. All right, sorry, I'm just gonna bring the, wait for that to turn itself on, awesome. Uh, I'm gonna quickly just check if I've got all three in extend mode, yes I do. I'm just gonna quickly identify which one's which, two and three. All right, I'll just put this one around here and we're pretty much good to go. All right, so as you can see, I'm gonna go through this one here and we've got that one there as well too. So we've got all three monitors running around. Now I'm gonna pop this camera up as well. So we're gonna have a try a little play because someone actually did ask me, one of my viewers did ask me, I think it's Rob, Robert, uh, about the whole Teams thing, if you, I'm gonna bring this thing up, is it coming through one? Yep, cool. I'm gonna call myself down here. So I'm just bringing it from here and let's call myself. So 
Now, their buttons itself, uh, I don't really team call, I can't try anything, I just haven't managed to get the call as well too. So, one of the things I'm going to have to see, oh sorry, that's just myself, I'm just going to tie this down here. I can't really make it bigger, but I can switch between the different webcams, so I currently it's switching on to that. So that's this one here. Oh sorry, it's actually coming from this one here, so that's that one there. So there's that one there, so I can see my hands is actually coming up from the very bottom. It's very, very small. No, nope, I can't really make this any bigger. So, sorry to say, I am, I'm not a great amount of Teams expert, but, all right. So I can switch the camera. So at the moment, we've got it coming from this camera now. So you can switch the different cameras if you've got multi-camera set up for the, teams it will detect that which is great to know so just to let you know about that i did rob hopefully that answers your question about the multi-cam setup if you had multiple cam multiple web cams in teams now i think the zoom's the same thing as well i haven't got zooms installed on this computer yet at the moment yet now i've just removed the 24 inch monitor and i'm bringing in a macbook air now this is a macbook air with the m1 chip in there and i'm just going to disconnect this one off here let's move this along here i'm just going to pop it down here and we'll just go and bring this across now i have been asked about this question here so i'm just going to connect this up and it does work, as you will probably see here. Uh, we've got, only got now arrangement, which is good. So it does see the monitor by itself. Uh, so it is in the extended mode. I'll just kind of show that to you. So oh, it is that large of a monitor. So you can see that's coming across here. Uh, now I'm just gonna bring this across here because then I'll better work this across down here so let me kind of move this around here so it's just easier for you guys can see now what i can see is i can definitely see that we've got power delivery so it is charging it i can also see that let's go quickly to the new the networks and i can definitely see the ethernet is connected there which is great to see so it is passing through ethernet on the macbook air and now I'm just going to quickly just play some music from this one here and it is coming through the speakers of this monitor just so you can have a listen to what it would sound like and I just do it very quickly it's got a little bit of bass not crazy amount of bass and it's got a bit of nice separation between the highs and mids and I hopefully you'll be able to hear that that's kind of what it, was, what it sounds like Also have another viewer ask me the question if the volume controls on the monitor will mirror on the Mac as well. So let's just do that just to show you. So I'm actually just bringing that down now. So I'm just gonna bring it right back up and I can definitely see the volume button going to the maximum and I'm gonna bring it down here as well. So yes, it does. The volume buttons on the monitor does mirror onto the MacBook Air as well too. So this is the M1 chip, so it would be the exact same for the Intel chip version of the MacBooks as well too. So that's good to see. Now I'm gonna go quickly bring you back to the Windows computer and we'll bring your attention to the Dell Display Manager. Now the Dell Display Manager has a few functions and there is a new function in the 34 inch that the 27 and the 24 does not have. And that is the KVM switch version for this. Now I'm gonna have, have to connect up uh, our second computer up and I'm, we're gonna have to play this off the screen, but it does have the function of a KVM switch. Now what a KVM switch which is basically you can have the keyboard and mouse connected to this and you can pretty much do a quick switch with your keyboard shortcut and you can actually move it between the two computers so you actually have one keyboard and mouse but controlling two computers very quickly in a way. So that's what the KVM means. It basically means keyboard, mouse, and video. Uh, and you can pretty much switch between two. Now it does do through software, and that is done through the Dell Display Manager. Now the display, Dell Display Manager can do other stuff as well. So it can also do change your uh, brightness and contrast as well. And so it has like an on, SD, which is the on-screen display. You can actually change all those things that you would normally do with this button down here, uh, or which is 
this one here so you can actually do whatever your functions you can do there can also be reflected in the Dell Display Manager. Now the other things you can do with Dell Display Manager so you can change the inputs as well very easy to do too as well and this is where the input is also where you find the KVM wizard so that's where you actually set that up so you go through this and just tell which one's computer one and then in computer two which one what ports to actually use so of course usually you use computer one will use USB-C and then computer two will more than likely use your display port plus your upstream of your USB type B um, port there that goes to the second computer and then you'll be able to switch the two computers around. So that's just the input measures where you find the KVM. Now we'll look more into that in the review video. Now there's also another one I want to quickly show you is called Easy Arrange. Now with Easy Arrange you can actually set different parts of this different orientations of windows that you can quickly do and let's just go over I'm just do a triple sort of thing so you can see there's a black line there now I'm going to quickly bring up uh, on this computer here across and you'll see it will automatically give me when I'm holding it you automatically can switch between the different arrangements so I can quickly just go to here it will snap that window to there now you can have any type of windows so I'm going to bring another one over here and I'm just going to bring it over here so you can see this is just quickly snapping down there now say for example I want to go half half it will snap into those two there so I'll just, yeah, as you can see how easy that is to snap uh, you probably can do my other types of monitor setups where you can do this sort of system there that's just giving you a good example of of the arranged, easy arrangement on the Dell Display Manager. One of the things I do like about the Dell monitors that I like to make a mention is they're about the power. Now the back of power supply of this monitor is built into the monitor itself. You don't have a power adapter so it just takes a normal computer power cord and just jack it right in and it just works. So you don't have this other weird power adapter or different types of connections. It's actually very common connections and you don't have to worry about losing that power adapter. You just need to replace the cable which is a very easy cable to get. So it is a nice cost saving there if you need to actually diagnose or even the monitor itself. So it is quite nice having the power supply built into the monitor. The maximum resolution on the C3422WE monitor is 3440 by 1440 and that's at 60 hertz refresh rate. Now the 60 hertz is something that I see very common for business class monitors. I know gaming monitors can go way past that up to about 240 uh, hertz there but for most business class it's around about 60 hertz hertz that you see now the reason for that is pretty much trying to consume less amount of power and that's what a business is trying to save power there so basically it's all about money anyway so the aspect ratio on this 34 inch monitor is 21 by 9 aspect ratio and the response time is can go all the way down to about 5 milliseconds but most of the time it operates at 8 milliseconds again if you only need the quick response time then you can switch that up now i will be able to show you how to switch that in the osd in my review video i will be creating a follow-up video once i spend some time on this but again it's to really save power so you really operate at eight milliseconds unless you really need the quick response time then you can switch it down to five milliseconds there now if you find this video informative or enjoyed it do and even to support my channel smack the like button for me and if you haven't done already subscribe my channel by hitting that subscribe button as well i do try uploading a new video every week and just remember imperfections in life makes it beautiful and interesting i'll see you next video